Japanese teams are extremely strong. My majority of my career has been with the Japanese team. So from what I know is they're very, um, you know, each, each person in the team has their own job and they will do everything they can to, to be the best at that one thing. Um, everything's very precise and there's nothing done at like half. It's a problem for us <laughs> because uh, we know that uh, the, the Japanese team and also riders uh, are really, really fast in, in Suzuka. Because, you know, we, we get to go to Suzuka just for the test once in a year and then for the race weekend. So it's not so, not so much track time for us, but the Japanese team, they work a lot uh, in, in Suzuka during the year to be ready for these eight hours because it's the most important race of the year for them and for us as well, mostly. Japanese team is very fast in Suzuka. We ride for the fr uh, French and Japanese team. We need to uh, adjust the strategy because it's completely different when you, when you work with Japan team. Uh, the culture is different, the briefing is different, all is different because you have a strategy and it's different to Europe. In Europe, all, all is fast, you need fast, fast, fast. In Japan, you need to take the time for, for understand the situation. But uh, when you understand why you work with Japan, after it's more easy. So Japanese team are really high level in that track and uh, there are some incredible riders that I used to watch on TV still racing and uh, still very, very fast. So it's nice to, to compete against them and it's nice also to learn something about them because I always see every year when we go there, I see the couple of chicanes like the last one, that the Japanese riders are always incredible there and uh, they, we always uh, can learn something from them.